Hey guys, how you doing today? Glad you stopped by at old Steve-O's base camp. Uh, we're going to get out here and uh, we're going to do a little alcohol wash on some bees. I got some goodies here. Uh, I made this cap, a double cap deal here. This double cap scenario here. Uh, it's just the wide mouth plastic caps. You'll see here right in the center is a little dimple. You drill yourself a little eighth inch hole right dead center of that. Then you come over here to your drill. Carefully do this. Get your fingers on the outside. Plug this in and fire it up. And this is two and three quarter across here. The same size hole I use on all my feeder holes. And then you carefully just set that in there right there in that hole and go in slowly. And your fingers are on the outside here. I know this looks intimidating, but if your fingers are on the outside, just go slowly and that'll, that'll cut out this hole for you. Cut two of those and then go over to your uh, I'll go over to your wire wheel and rough up your wire wheel here. Rough up all the mating surfaces. Then lay the lid down on a piece of eighth hardware, uh, eighth screen. Trace around with a sharpie and uh, and then make sure your wire is cut on the inside so it's not sticking out sharp edges and then put down a bed of JB Weld JB Weld put down a bed, put your screen on it put a smear on the other side put it on and set something heavy on there. I had a thing a tangle foot I just set on come back 24 hours and then I smeared a nice thick coat on the outside now I, I find it still leaking slightly around the edge but no big deal all right so let's get out here in the field but before I go you know I didn't tell you guys I got a little Indian blood in me um, Plains Indian blood my ancestors uh, were buffalo slayers of course, I'm a mutt. I've got all kinds of different things. Welsh, uh, Irish, all kind of stuff mixed in. But I do have some Plains Indian blood in me. Maybe that's why I like to bow hunt so much. At least that's what Mom told me. But So my buddies come up, and, and they're always throwing Indian stuff at me from time to time. And uh, one of my buds says, Hey, did you hear about Bernie? He, he went to the... Uh, Indian Reservation for a speech, one of them town hall speeches. I said, no, I didn't hear about that one. He said, yeah, he went there, and the chief listened to the whole thing, and then after Bernie's spiel, you know, he was telling him everything he's going to, there he's going to put in their Easter basket, you know, the Indian Easter basket, and uh, so after Bernie's long spiel, he went over there, and of course the media was there and everything, and uh, he uh, went up to Bernie, and, and the chief went up to Bernie and says, so we're, we've got an Indian name for you. And he said, really? Yep, we're going to bless you with an Indian name, and your new Indian name is Walking Eagle. Bernie was so happy and thrilled. Well, he jumped, jumped in a vehicle. He went off to his next, you know, session. And a reporter came up to him and said, what? Chief, what is that all about? You, you named him Walking Eagle? And he said, the, the Chief goes, yeah, well, that was an easy one. Because when you think you're so good that you're an eagle, and you're so full of shit that you can't fly, guess what? You're walking. Okay? So that that's the Indian story. Uh, it's maybe a true story. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, that's enough of that shenanigans let's get out here in the field and uh, do a few washes on some bees see if we got any varroa mites seeing a few sorry about that guys I had the friggin camera on backwards amateur hour I guess all right I don't see any mites in there guys and I had this whole thing on backwards when I was doing this. But anyway, let's go over this again.
we had amateur hour guys sorry so I've got my bees dumped in here I dump my bees in I put my cap on shake them up for one minute shake them up for one minute get that done screw on your screen cap rig like so start swirling this like this and when you do swirl as you come up bada bang done So yes, you've terminated some bees. We sacrificed some bees. But that's the way it is. All right. I don't think we got a mite problem here whatsoever. Uh what I want to do though is go down here and look at something. We're going to check a few other hives. I'll do that later, but I did that on that one. I don't see nothing. Let's go down here and look at this colony down here. This hive is doing very well here, by the looks of it. That was queen right on 529. I've got a 109 heat index, by the way, guys, right now. 109. They haven't done nothing on this side other than a little bit in this corner right here. They're putting up a little nectar here. Uh, I'm going to say, guys, we need to go ahead and shift this thing over. To eight frame box, it's time. Make sure we don't have any chew holes in this in these traps. Yeah, they're plugging up with propolis in here. They may have beetles down in there they've trapped in there. I took one apart the other day. There's a couple cells here that are plugged up. That tells me there's some... I'm going to go ahead and change that out. Let's see what's on this frame here. Oh, yeah. They're loading this up, guys, with eggs. She's, she's just loading this up with eggs. Okay, we've seen enough here. Let's slide this colony down. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we got her going on here. I got the uh, new eight framer setting over in this location. Time will tell on this queen, you know, what her what her uh, disposition is and all that but uh, this queen just she's just loading this thing up really nice with eggs here
there she is right there she's a little she's a little runner I hope she just didn't fall off the frame there let me look on this side no there she is right there that looks like a Sebastian to me she's a runner She's a little runner and she's got a she's got a cripple looking wing on her. Right there she is. See her right wing. If she'd quit running around, we'd get a look at her. She doesn't want to cooperate with us, does she? There she goes. There she is, right on the bottom. She's running right there. Her friggin' right wing is funky looking. Oh well, we'll see how it goes. Looks like she's laying up pretty good here. Get the rest of her children in this box. See her pattern don't look bad. This being a Sebastian, they're a little, they're a little squirrely looking. Here's another queen right here, guys. Now that's a prettier queen. I don't know why we got two queens in here, guys. But you want to know something? I don't care. I don't care why we have two queens. Matter of fact, they can just have at it, okay? May the best girl win. It's like politicians, you know? Let the best one win. Wow, there's a gob of bees hanging, guys. They're drawing a little bit of funky comb down here, but that's all right. It's going straight down, as you can see. A lot of larvae in there. A lot of honey on this side. So we'll put this honey to the outside wall, like so. Yeah, buddy. All right, let's give these girls a little bump here. That's a lot of bump. Sorry about that, girl. Okay. Center upper frames here. Put a lid on it. Put a lid on her. Put a feeder jar on her. This is empty. I'll come back here in a few minutes. And uh, I'm also going to make up another high beetle bait trap and put in there, a fresh one. I'll slip mm -hmm. it in the back when, when I put on the uh, other one. And uh, yeah. We'll see how these babies go here. We'll check them in a week. We'll go back in here in a week and see what's going on. I think we got a new, brand new queen. She's like a really nice looking queen in there and the, a really golden butt on her. The other one's dark. I'm not sure, sure if that's a Sebastian or not. I have not worked with his bees before. And I see him once a month at the meeting. So I'll ask him, you know, every time I see him, I ask him a few questions. And I'll see how it's going to go. But, uh, yeah. Stick a fork in it, guys. It's done for now. Uh, the I'm going to keep an eye on this alcohol wash thing with these guys. 
I've lost a few hives. Here's one down. I had one five, 529. This colony is down and out. Down and out. It happens. It happens. Here's a colony here. 529. Down and out. Out of gas. Here's a colony here that's looking good, I think. Looking good. But, I'm not supposed to be playing peekaboo in here until 7 5. 7 5, okay? No peekaboo till 7 5. Uh, I normally don't look at any of my colonies once I date them, but for just, you know, educational purposes i come into these hives for you guys to see what's going on a lot of times you can cause more harm than good by by messing around in here with these hives before the 30-day period that's on a walk away if you're doing a queen you buy a queen you put her in i'd come back in two weeks and check her see how she's doing okay that's it guys um glad you joined me today uh guess what the lord's gonna give me one day one more day because we're working bees today guys whenever you work bees you get an extra day too all right guys be happy i'll see you on the next one